coming in 2017 from Haunted Road Media. Many more great haunted locations, plus returns to some of our favorites. This huge magnolia tree was planted in 1863. Okay, so maybe there is somebody up here. When I try to get up and go down to the other room down there, um, I felt something like I don't know, staticky with my hair. So I know it sounds kind of weird, but um, I just kind of got that feeling that it was it was something. <laughs> um, now there were some kids that came up here a little bit ago and told me about the uh, the girl who likes to play up here. This is the nanny who watches these children right here. I know one of them is Eric, the littlest one. Uh, I think. Did somebody say him. Eric is up here? Yes, okay. Eric. Um, he fell to his death. Um, in the conference room. Oh. Uh, cause you know how the window comes really low? Okay, yeah. He fell out of that one, I believe he was like nine. Can you roll over here? I think you can. I think you know how. Or they also told me that this green ball that lights up like that they told me that you know how to change the colors. Okay, so we are in here with the body. I've got the K2 meter set up here. I love the black taffeta. And over here is a photograph. A spirit photograph that was taken right here. session here, okay? Got our bells, got our K2 meter over there, and if something happens, I'll just grab the camera. Okay. You have a lovely home here. I know there's people next door in the other room trying to talk to you. I know there's people upstairs trying to talk to people here. Yes, we have a lot of people in the house tonight trying to talk to anybody who may have lived here. And feel free to choose from any of those to talk to. If you like me, talk to me. If you like them, talk to them. But we are all just curious about who you are, why you're still here, um, what your life was like, is like. What is it you're feeling and experiencing right now? What do you think about this display out here? That I... <laughs> okay, somebody's here, okay. Um, hi. So, I'm guessing you don't like it. Um... It's got a massive chill. Okay, um... Sorry if, if that offends you. Seriously, I understand what they're trying to do here. Um, what they're they're trying to because they do the ghost hunts here, so they're trying to set out. This, I'm, I can't even get it out of my mouth because I'm just feeling cold right now. I'm feeling extremely cold. I feel like right now I'm acting really a sensitive, and I don't ever claim to be. Was, 
little shadow movement over there. Back. It was back over there by the foot of it. A little shadow movement. I still feel really, really cold right here. Um, in the middle of an investigation, usually I, I feel, I mean, I did feel a little tingly on the arm just a moment ago, just for a second, a brief second. And that's what it usually gets like tingly all up and down the arms. Um, but this is cold. It's really, really cold. I mean, if you want to, if you want to make your feelings really known, you could just, and I don't usually do this out there, but I think it would be appropriate right now. You could just push that right off the table there. That body thing that they have set up in the you really don't want to see it there. You could just push it right off. You could. You could. You just gotta chill. Okay, I've stepped outside for a few minutes. Um, I just had to take a breather. I was told that um, stuff could be seen shooting out of me when I came out of that room. And whatever I had asked while I was in there, they actually saw something shoot into there. So from the questions that I was asking, it attracted something from their room into my room, which was the uh, best parlor, but that's where they held the wakes. That's why that is set up there. And, um, yeah, then they could see stuff shooting on me. So that was extremely overwhelming. I don't, and, and like I said, uh, those of you that have been watching my videos for ever know that I don't usually get like that. Well, welcome back to a very, very special place. Earlier this year, uh, we were standing in this exact spot, although I think I was there and you were here, and we were saying a, uh, a sad farewell to the Goldenrod Showboat, and now it has a second life. Okay, our return to the Goldenrod. Now, earlier today when we were talking with Jake Medford on the stage, um, heard a large, um, almost like a crash, a large thump coming from the um, second story balcony uh, right hand side and shot a few moments later saw a light that was uh, glowing kind of moving up there and right now she believes she saw somebody up on the stage Hello, Captain. Captain Minky, is there somebody else in here with you? I feel like there's somebody else in here. I don't think they're that nice. It was up there where we saw where Shauna saw it earlier and I heard it. back up front because we just heard a whole bunch of stuff up there. Yeah, there was rustling and banging and all kinds Ooh, of stuff. But we're here tonight, 107 years later, about to investigate. Yeah, this is the Ghost of the Goldenrod event. A little bit of a chilly November evening here, but uh, Mike Rick's here with Jake Medford, Chris Sutton, and Shauna Wankel. And Chris was already picking up on a few things earlier when we first showed up. That's right. I was telling everybody before we got started here that um, as the day wore on, I've kept feeling like there was something up here that was waiting for us. There is definitely some new energy in the mix, and it's not anything that I recognize. Are you just here because it feels like a good place to come to? Are you interested in what's going on here? 
Okay. Well, that's very good. Thank you. You know, you're welcome to be here. I mean, into not there. On, not on the wall. Um, but into the doorway. Here. And it went in the doorway. And then as soon as I called for Jake, and then I told him what I saw, and then right after he answered me, then two of the little twinkles um, went in there. Just okay. I mean, I didn't see them like. Well, and this is where we were seeing stuff earlier tonight. Behind me is the Stone Line Inn, my absolute most favorite haunted house I have ever visited. I have had numerous experiences here. The old Logan County Memorial Hospital where people have seen what they believe to be a nun walking along the top floor. Behind me is the legendary Bluebell Saloon, which again, I covered in my Ghost and Legends of Oklahoma book. And again, the sun is right in my face. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Okay, at Fort Chaffee. No, I am not Zach Bagans, but I do play one on YouTube. In the 1800s, this was the only railroad line into the territory. In 1903, the brick structure behind me was built and serviced the Santa Fe Railroad until 1971. Currently known as the Dominion House, this was the Masonic Children's Home. Actually, originally started as both a children's and a uh, elderly person's uh, retirement home. Pretty good size. Was in the air. Pretty good size orb. Like it was round. Yeah, it's like it was like And that was kind of like what I saw came between you guys earlier.